Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope you all slept well. Um, before we um, open with our devotions, um, can I ask anybody here who's a, a delegate for the general meeting which will follow, and anybody who's online who's a delegate, to make sure that they have registered uh, as such? I think most people have, but if you haven't registered, would you do so now? Uh, through the website. Thank you. Um, and now I'm going to hand over to Laurie to lead the devotions this morning. Dear friends, dear brothers and sisters, good morning. I hope you all slept well and rested up from the previous day, because even though it was a beautiful uh, day, I think we all needed a little rest. I invite you this morning to begin this day with the recharging of our souls, so that we may have the strength to continue to dream and to act together. Special thanks goes to those who are helping us all to do uh, this today. To Risho Kosei Kai and Reverend Sahara, and to Konko Church of Izo, Reverend Yushinobu, and to Jarek Kubautsky, a Mennonite minister from Netherlands. And let's start with a short prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to be with us and bless this moment as we seek together as brothers and sisters the way for the peace of our sons and the peace of the world. Amen. Today I'm reading from the Gospel of Matthew, part 5, verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Amen. And after this short Bible verse, verse I invite you to sing a hymn together, and after that I will give the floor for Reverend Sahara and Risho Gosei Kai to help us to go deeper on the way to our souls. Reverend Sahara will be followed by Reverend Yoshinobu and Jarek Kubowski, one by one in this order. And let's sing together. Lucas, please, come sing a song with me.
Now spread worldwide. Our focus of devotion is Eternal Buddha Shakyamuni, and our primary scriptures are the Threefold Lotus Sutra. Sutra recitation is one of our basic practices of the faith. So this morning, we will recite, the, of, recite our short version of the Lotus Sutra from Chapter 16, The Lifespan of the Eternal Tathagata, which is considered one of the core chapters. Eternal Tathagata means eternal Buddha. This chapter teaches us when our own hearts become pure, this world just as it is becomes a world always filled with heavenly beings and humans. But since the world isn't easily visible to us in this way, we instead only see society's various premises. Today, a time of conflict around the world, we must remember one of the Buddhist teachings, a doctrine that all phenomena lie within a single thought, which is 3,000 realms in one mind. The thought we embrace, whether good or evil, are transmitted just as they are to others. Therefore, we need to face others within an open mind at first. It shows the essence of the Buddha's teachings in the Lotus Sutra. Through the Lotus recitation, we will reflect upon ourselves and deepen our prayers into our mutual ties of trust and friendship among peoples and nations wishing for world peace. Thank you for your kind attention and let us start. まさに知るべしこのところは、すなわちこれ道場なり諸仏ここにおいてあの具たら三脈三母大をえ、諸仏ここにおいて法輪を転じ諸仏ここにおいて初音半したも、南無妙法蓮へ今日、自ら仏に
本部勘定のご守護尊人、実行無料の書店前人、来臨用語、知見商乱の見舞いにおいて、IARF 第36回世界大会の開催にあたり、一切主上仏将会見と世界平和の達成を祈願し立てまつる、ここに我ら一同、人々の心、平安なることに精進し、大和、調和の精神をもって、神仏より託されし、対話の継続を決定せん。青木根川、しだてまつる大乗名、法蓮華経、人人の名義により、諸事一切の恩手配賜りまするよう、人へに願い上げたてまつる。南無名、法蓮華経。無常、人人、未明の法は百千万号にも間で祀ることがだし、我今、検問し、受理することを得たり、願わくは如来の第一義を下せん。<笑>妙法蓮華経、如来受領、本題十六。我仏を得てよりこの方へたるところのもろもろの骨臭無料百千万億歳や葬儀なり、常に法を問いねえ無修国の修正を表現して仏道にいらしむ。しかしよりこの方無料こうなり、修正土千あだめのゆえに、して涅槃を現ず、しかも実には滅道せず、常にここに従して法を得く。我常にここに従すれどももろもろの人ず力をもんで、天道の修正をして、しかしとい、しかもみざらしむ、修和が滅道を見て、色くしゃりを供養し、ことごとく見られんぼいだい。の心を生ず、修行すでに神仏し、死に気にして心入難に、一心に仏を見立てまつらんと、惜<笑>しまず、時に我を呼び、修僧どもに、領獣千にず、我時に修行に語る、常にここにあんで滅せず、方便力をもんでろゆえに、滅滅ありどげん、予告に修行の苦行し信用するものあれば、我れまたかの中においてダメに無常の法を読く。何だちこれを聞かずして、ただ我れ滅をそう思えり、我れもろもろの修行を見れ、肺に持つ大せに、軽がゆえにダメに身を減ずして、それをして活語を承知し、その心連望するに呼んで、すなわち入れでダメに法を読く。人図力学のごとしや葬儀公に追い、常に領獣船及び世の者々の,の,の重症にあり、修正公付きで大河に明る。見るのぎも我がこのドアンノンにして、天人常に十万せり、恩人諸々の同格主樹の宝をもんで、将軍し、宝珠下下を置く、修正の偉くするところなり。巨殿伝具を打って、常に諸々の疑惑をなし、万だらけをうらして、仏及び大衆に参。我が浄土は破れざるに、しかも衆は焼けずぎで、うふ諸々の苦悩格のこと。十万世にと見る、この諸々の罪の衆生は、苦悩の因縁をもって、あそぎこうをそぐれる。三方の皆を汚がず、もろもろのあらゆる愚毒を終始入和し、気なるもの、すなわち皆我が身ここにあんで、法を毒の見る、ある時はこの衆のため、仏獣無料なりと毒、久しくあんで、今じ仏を見立てまつる者には、ダメに仏に、愛がだしとどく、我が地理企画のごとしへ、こう出らずごと無料に、寿命無出こう、差し苦合を収して売るところな、何だちちあらんものここにおいで、疑いを生ずることなかれて、まさに断じで南国好きしむべし、仏語は二図にして、無駄じからず、稲なき方便をもんで、王子を自戦がダメのゆえに、実に我れどもしかも失踪というに欲く子も毒者なきがごと。我もまたこれ世の知事もろもろの苦言を救う者なり、ボンブの伝道せるをも
実に我どもしかも滅すのゆえ、常に我を見るおもんでのゆえ、しかも教師の心を生じ、法律にしてごよくに弱し、脳の中に落ちなんわれ、常に修行の道行事、道行でざるをし、どすべきところに従んでダメに主樹の法を読む。常に自らこの念をなす何をもんでが修正して無常道に、速やかに物心を成就することをえせしめんど、南無妙法蓮へ、今日南無妙法蓮へ、今日南無妙法蓮へ、今日願わくはこの功徳をもってあまねく一切に及ぼし我らと市場と皆ともに仏道を上善。願わくはこの功徳をもってあまねく一切に及ぼし我らと市場と皆ともに仏道を上善。願わくはこの功徳をもってあまねく一切に及ぼし我らと市場と皆ともに仏道を上善。ナムミオホーレンエレキョーナムミオホーレンエレキョーナムミオホーレンキョー That was a short version of reciting the Lotus Sutra from Risho Kosei Kai. Thank you for your kind attention and listening. Good morning. I would like to have a explain and our Shinto services and also a chanting. I, I would like to share with you. First of all, I would like to explain about the, I put on the sacred twig on the front of you. Uh, this it, this twig is a symbol of nature. So uh, Japanese Shinto tradition has a Uh, very different from the、uh, so called the Abrahamic religions,、uh, traditions. So, we,、uh, we, we believe we are part of nature, not we don't think about the human and nature, human within nature. So, we are almost、uh, one of the elements of nature, like with、uh, animal, plant, stone, etc. So, we usually invite a、uh, divine spirit to、uh, the sacred twig and、uh, At that occasion of starting a service,、uh, we purify through this、uh, twig to play、uh, to all of you. And、uh, at that time, when I、uh, sweep、uh, you, so please, a little bit, make a bow, a、uh, little bit bow, please. And then I would like to have a, one of our、uh, uh, chant in, in Japanese and English. And,、uh, If you have any question or something like that,、uh, after f i n i s h my、uh, prayer. Okay.
now I chant a so-called adoration prayer in Japanese and English. Aogi Matsureba ten takaku, Orogami Matsureba chiwa tsushi, Kami no megumini kasaruru, Mino saiwa izo arigataki, Wagaiki gami no on tori tsugi, Hitohimo kakuru toki no naku, Tenchi no kami no on mamori, Toki chikaki no hedate nashi, Kangi tsukushi mi wa yorozi o ni, Amaneku michite hate shinaku, Kan hakara iwa kusushikute, we left, we lift our eyes in awe toward heaven soaring above. We bow our head in prayer toward earth rich and deep. Living aim such gifts of Kami's great giving. How happy and grateful we are. The mediation of the living spirit does not stop for a single day. The protection of parent Kami embraces all far and wide. The blessings of Kami follow without limit through all generations. The way of Kami are mysterious and wondrous beyond our understanding. Day by day, every day. Honestly and relevantly. We prize the virtue of Kami. We honor the power of Kami. So, this is a most shortest version of our Congo daily services we play our deity but uh, at the same time we not only uh, play for our own teachings our religions and uh, we uh, emphasize to make a good uh, willing for the different religions uh, peoples uh, Buddhist Hindu Muslim Christian etc so I would like to share uh, this morning devotion for you is uh, I feel very happy so if you have any questions, uh, I will be uh, uh, let me pray. You, you don't have, uh, it's okay. Am I making a sense? king san do you have some question? Yes. It's a good question. It depends upon the each churches. Like our Konko, we have about 100, uh, 1,500 Konko churches, parishes in Japan and somewhere in the, around the world. And <clears throat> very similar with the UUA, each church was independent from a, other church. And uh, over, our headquarter has not so much strong power to control each of them, which means yeah. every church has its uh, autonomy. For instance, my own church nowadays i'm a chief of the res chief res responsible for the kasugaoka church is a small church a local church is only once a day but my 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 mother's church and my now my brother take a responsibility is your church and my father my grandfather also uh, as a chief priest is uh, four times a day and uh, every week we have a uh, weekly service and, and every month, monthly service and many, many services we have. I think uh, more than 100 times a year uh, for special services. So uh, it is not so uh, uh, have a, a free time for the Hong Kong ministers. And also Hong Kong ministers should wait uh, uh, the congregation and to meet one by one uh, anytime. Uh, not only for Sunday or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every day. If they ask to come to have a mediation, I should have a responsibility to the people. So uh, it is not a healthy job for, for me <laughs> yeah, because uh, like a labor uh, condition is not so good for if I compare with a, a business person. Yes. Do you have? Yes, please. Yes. 
Put it to the mic oh, microphone. Sorry. You clap four times. Yes. Is there, what is the significance of the four? Ah, the four. Yep. You know, the, and the, uh, mainly the Japanese Shinto shrine clapped two times. Uh, but it depends upon the different shrine had three times, four times, uh, much more times. But, uh, uh, Japanese pronunciation for is she means the same pronunciation with death. Uh, people are afraid the number of four because the same pronunciation of death. Like the, in this Western tradition, like uh, uh, number 13 is no good. Anyway, my hotel room is 13. This, uh, <laughs> the hotel person asked me, is it okay? So it doesn't, doesn't matter, doesn't worry for Japanese. Number four is bad for Japanese, but <laughs> anyway. So now I found that the Konko uh, teachings are started uh, middle 18th century, middle 18th century, and uh, uh, our founder said uh, the everybody doesn't wish to the number of four, but he tried to catch the the deep meaning of death. So she started to clap four times. That's why we have a four times clapping hand. But uh, a clapping hand uh, on the uh, front of uh, shrines or deities in Japan is very popular everywhere. And sometimes, if I go to Shinto shrine and uh, deity, if deity has sleep, so wake up, wake up, wake up for for him. So I don't know him or her. I, I don't know the the sexuality of each uh, deity is different. We we have bo both men, women, uh, deities. Yes. Thank you. Do you have any other questions? It's okay. Okay. So thank you very much uh, for this morning's devotion. Thank you. Good morning. Ukash, would you like to ring the bell? It's the ringing of the bell of my church in Beverwijk, the Netherlands. And the recording was made on the day of remembrance of our fallen soldiers and civil persons during the wars in the past. And that in the middle of the period of pandemic. Our help and our expectation is in the name of the one who has made space for the air that we can breathe and for the land so that we can walk upon it. The one who always remains faithful and who does not forsake the work so lovingly began. This is why we may experience peace and tranquility. This we dare say, trusting in the unpronounceable name of the one who wants to be our father and mother, who shows himself in us, in the spirit 
F. Love. May it be so. I would like to read a short passage from the book called The Gospel According to John. The word gospel means the good news. The good news of the liberation of humans from all that limits their growth towards the fullest humanity possible. John, to whom the authorship of this book is attributed, was the beloved disciple of the Master Jesus. When it was evening on the day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. We are stepping into the middle of the story. Jesus was captured, condemned, and put to death in the horrific manner of crucifixion. The authorities, both civil and religious, have a reason to rejoice, for they have forever eliminated a dangerous, rebellious teacher. In contrast, those who once choose to follow him are completely devastated. They apparently bet on the wrong course. And now that their life has fallen to pieces, they have shut themselves up. Not only in the room, but also in this feeling that, like the master himself, they have failed and their life has lost its yeah. meaning. Yeah. Suddenly, something strange happens. And let's be honest, none of us really knows what. But they sense his presence. He seems to have broken in, not only and perhaps not even so much, into that locked room, but especially into their minds and hearts. The Jesus they knew is no longer among the living, but his reviving spirit appears again in their lives. For this is just what Jesus says, receive the spirit. He says it in his mother tongue, Ruach. But it's actually pronounced in a very specific way. Dutch feminist theologian Katharina Halkes liked to tell that there are two moments in human life when a person is able, really able, to pronounce it correctly. When a woman gives birth to a child, when no, we sexual ecstasy. When we are able to bring out the air with such force that it sounds as it should. Admittedly, none of us are in either of these two situations at the moment. But still, if you want to, try it. Get as much air as you can into your lungs and blow it out with all your might, saying, That's the other thing I did. I did it in the 
do it again. You can even get up from your seat. Oh, stop. So, yeah. Stop it. I did that again. Good day, nine. Yeah. Fuck you. It's never the young lawyer. The person next to you is filled with the same life-giving breath that flows, that flows from the same divine source that also invigorates you. Each of us is a spirit of an arrow. And each of us is able to pass this spirit on. Personally, I'm convinced that this is exactly and only what Master Jesus wanted to teach us. You're precious. You're carrying in yourself the divine breath, the divine life force, and you are able to share it with others. So, let's do it. Let us now remain in silence for a while. Then we will hear again the bell of the Mennonite Church in Daver Bay. Before we close our gathering, I would like to in invite every reverence who was contributing uh, tomorrow to come and to say a short blessing in this morning for everybody, please. or universal transfer of merit, this phrase wishes to spread the merit of a sutra recitation to all people and promote the happiness of all living beings. Okay. Ah, so I each one of us, every single thing, together with Kami, you, with the world. We come together here, Krishwa, for get, for attending the, our World Congress to share our ideas for the relig religious freedom under the theme of faith in reconciliation. So uh, 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 from the east and the west, from the north and the south, for enriching our activities and duties today. May the divine source Fill you with its breath. May your actions be full of the liberating power of the gospel. And may you be filled with, this, with the spirit that inspired and filled 
Master Jesus, and so many prophets, so many visionaries, so many poets in the past. May it will, may it be so. May God's blessing, love, and peace be with us all. Amen. I invite you to sing the closing hymn to together. Thank you very much. I found that I found that very inspiring and I hope you did too. So my thanks to Laurie and to all those who took part. There will now be a five minute break while we sort out a few technical things to get ourselves going for the second part of the general meeting. So by my watch at least, actually uh, we'll make it five two. So if you need to uh, take a break uh, then Please do it quickly and be back in, in that time. Okay. For anybody who's not staying for the general meeting and going on the tour, uh, it will be in the in the hall downstairs. In the hall. Thank you.